Hello, you gorgeous individuals. It's Kav here, and today I'm here with Kali Ray and Michelle. And it is time for our third episode in the Chain of Gold Anticipation series Thingamabob Doodle. <laughs> That off. I like <laughs> the involvement of the name. Thank you. So we have two previous videos in this series that are already up. Our first episode was a battle of the Shadowhunter Chronicles, so you should watch that to see who won the video. <laughs> Let's just say someone won video. by a landslide. <laughs> someone won overwhelmingly. Yeah. yeah. So I think just you can that. guess too. No comment. <laughs> and then in our second video, Call Your Ray and I fan casted the main cast of Chain of Gold, and that one was also chaotic, but it we was. tried our darndest. Mm -hmm. The quality of those results, you can judge for yourself by watching the video. Yeah. But now in this final video, we are going to be discussing some theories for Chain of Gold. So as of this moment, when we are filming this video, none of us have read the book. I am supposedly receiving an arc. So I will likely have read the book by the time this video goes up because we are pre-filming it like two and a half weeks in advance. So we all are generally up to date on the situation with Chain of Gold. Um, Kalori and I have both read The Infernal Devices. Michelle has emotionally read The Infernal Devices <laughs> on some level. We have read various forms of the snippets and such. None of us have read all of them because we want to savor some Cassie Claire content for later, but we are generally up to date with them. So with that said, that's kind of where we're going at it for these theories. Um, obviously, since it's the first book in a new series, there's a lot we don't know yet. So we're just kind of going to be spitballing some ideas. I'm going to just put out a potential spoiler warning here because I don't really know how much we're going to be saying, but we're going to be going off of any and all knowledge we have of Chain of Gold and the other series in Cassandra Clare's universe, so watch at your own risk because there are potentially going to be spoilers in this video. And with that, let's jump into some theories. So I know you have thoughts about Jesse Blackthorne. I was looking up the wikis while we were like fan casting characters that need to see their appearances. Yeah. And from what I understand, Jesse is said to be like a main character of Chain of Gold. Uh, Livy's locket is Jesse's locket. Right. Oh, yeah. right. I forgot about and that. And also, we know that the Herondales can see ghosts. Oh, yeah. yeah. So if anyone can see them, it would be Lucy and James. So then it and would she'll oh, recognize yes, him from when he helped oh. her as a kid. <laughs> This is yes. this is our theory. It's this all coming together. together. It's all, it's all together. coming together. Now. But I don't. Okay, the thing is, I don't think he's gonna be resurrected in the first book. Oh, I definitely don't think he'll be resurrected. Yeah. That she's soon. gonna wait at least till the yeah. end of the second book, if not the third. But who do you think is going to be the one to resurrect him? Do you think it'll be Tatiana? Lucy, Honestly, Lucy. It could be. Lucy might actually. She could possibly like but somehow meet Tatiana at some point, like, with something, and then Tatiana, like, gets her, because James is definitely going to start, like, try to see Grace, mm -hmm. and so I feel like at some point maybe Lucy will, like, follow him or something. So do you guys think that Lucy's going to resurrect him because she's in love with him? I don't think, I don't think because she's in love with him. It, I feel like it's maybe going to be more of, like, an accident that happens at, like, the end of the book, and then boom, cliffhanger. Yeah, or Tatiana will, like, manipulate her into doing mm -hmm. it, but also oh, Lucy yeah. just wants to do it because she's a good person. But then, and, like, like, this kid helped her. But then, does that mean that five people will have to die? Do you think main characters will die? Who's going to die? But then, what if, but <sighs> people know. didn't have to die when Ty brought Livy back. So but that's then, also yeah. so much later. Yeah, but, possible but the books, I feel exists, like they'll find a loophole. Right? Maybe James and Lucy can James can, like, powers. access... Yeah, oh, but we yeah. don't know Lucy's powers. But maybe like, she that's has gonna one. help. Yeah, exactly. Maybe Lucy has a she power definitely and she probably and James has one. combine theirs to pull Jesse out. Maybe. I was looking up like chain of gold theories to kind of prepare and so yeah. this isn't my own theory. I read it on like Tumblr or something. <laughs> and it was that chain of gold or the last hours is a story about second loves. Like how first loves don't work out and then you end up with your second love. A lot of people theorize that Lucy falls in love with Jesse, but then she ends up with Matthew. There are a lot of Lucy and Matthew shippers out there. Apparently I think Matthew and thing. Lucy are the initial. Oh, so Matthew and Lucy. the second love is Lucy so, and Jesse. So Lucy is like in love with Matthew, and then she ends up with Jesse. Yeah. Is there anything that That's what happens it seems like. between Matthew and Lucy? I, I don't like, know, but there's I like a like whole been a fandom. Oh, no, I have like a giant of like Lucy I have like the Matthew biggest shippers. conviction reading it that Matthew was gay as hell. Oh yeah. Oh, and people think that Thomas and Alistair are going to be together. I think that's an interesting concept yeah. that like yeah. your first love doesn't always work, but then there's another chance. So we know James is going to end up with Cordelia, right? Yes. It's the family tree. Pretty yeah. much, yeah. James and Cordelia end up together, and then it says Lucy and Jesse get married. Who does it say Alistair marries? Uh, it doesn't say Alistair marries anyone. 
But he Alistair's has a kid. Alistair's single forever. Alistair has a kid. There needs to be a woman involved there. Oh, yeah, or I, gets... he could adopt. Yeah, it says Lucy marries Jesse. Mm -hmm. But it also says Eugenia doesn't marry anyone. People, oh, so you know how Eugenia, so Eugenia is not in Chain of Gold because she is in Paris due to some sort of scandal. Mm -hmm. And people have theorized that Charles gets her pregnant. <gasps> but because Charles doesn't marry her, he marries Ariane, she's kind of stuck. Because this is like the 1900s, mm -hmm. you can't just Yikes. have a baby out of wedlock. Yikes. Yes. <laughs> Wait, do, is, does it say anything? Oh, they no. don't end up together though. Oh yeah, but she would still have a baby, wouldn't she? But also, the family tree people are saying it's not right, so like we'll find mm. out. But I don't feel like she would generally go against it. She might just like add to it. Wait. Christopher marries Grace Cartwright? Oh. Who's Grace Cartwright? Grace Blackthorn. Her. She's adopted, so her birth oh. name is Cartwright. Christopher marries Grace? You know what? Okay, that makes Grace my theory. I think that Grace, I think that Grace and like that James throughout the first book is finally going to get over Grace, but she's going to actually realize that Tatiana is horrible and come and like stay with them probably and then over how time does, her and Christopher how, probably. Does how does James end up falling in love with Grace? We don't know yet. We don't know that. We just know okay. that he is. I feel like something terrible happens to James because the James that you see in the Bane's in the Bane Chronicles and the James that you see in like the snippets that we see are, are very different. They're people. very different yeah. people. Yeah, I definitely think that you know how Matthews Matthews made some mistakes. You know, he did the th the thing with Charlotte that happened. Yeah, I can't. Yeah, yeah. Someone explain it. He went, okay, so he went to the shadow family. market. Yeah, he went to the shadow <laughs> market, and one of the um, like people gave him a potion. And he thought it would just, like, make Charlotte tell him the truth. Right. About, because, who who was it? I think Alistair Carstairs told Matthew told that yeah. Charlotte and Gideon were having um, an, affair. an affair. And that Matthew just, was, like, the, was the baby from it. And so Matthew, like, gave her the potion, and she, like, dropped to the floor, and it was bad. Right. And then, like, Magnus came. Right, yeah. so everyone, so people are also theorizing that that secret, like, what Matthew did is going to get out in Chain yeah. of Gold. Because that's, oh, that would no, be... she had a miscarriage. He was going to yeah. have a sibling. Yeah, she had a miscarriage, yes, because of how sick she got. Yeah. And people are going to, like, think that what Matthew did, like, pe that they're going to find out about that. Oh, yeah, for sure. It's got to mm -hmm. get out. It's good, yeah. yeah. I remember, you said this, Matthew is the first non-Herondale to have such Herondale energy. Exactly. Yeah, he really is. That's <laughs> like, true. Like, Matthew almost feels like what James should be like. How far apart in age are Matthew and Charles? Because Charles, Charlotte was pregnant with her first Charles. son, Charles, in... Yeah. In well, Clockwork Princess. Charles is... I think Charles is like five years older. Do you think that girls. that's impacted why Matthew kind of became the way he did? Like, maybe he feels lesser so. because True, of his yeah. older brother. Yeah. And he's yeah, always had to take care of Henry. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's the attention-seeking younger sibling right. type thing. And we also know that Cordelia and Alistair have like a bad relationship. Alistair yeah, is not liked surprised. by like any of the... Oh yeah. Any of the main cast because he's a lot yeah. older and... You know, he does things like tell Matthew that he's the yeah. <laughs> product of an affair. Yeah. But... He has a connection with Thomas, right? Thomas looks up to him a lot, and I think Alistair just uses that. It's interesting that we know virtually nothing about Cordelia, and she's actually the main character. Right. Of yeah. I was waiting for them to bring up Cordelia somewhere, mm -hmm. and they didn't. I was like, Which I kind of like, though. Like, yeah. it's fun to go into it not really knowing. Yeah, because yeah. she's virtually, like, the main character of the yeah. series, yet we know almost nothing about her. Most of what we know about her, we know, like, through Lucy's yeah. relationship with her. And I definitely think part of what may have shaped Alistair's identity is because um, it's stated in his wiki that, like, because he's Persian, like, he didn't, like, he, that's affected how he was treated growing up. So I think that's also potentially, do you think, like, Cordelia will also have to face, like, those things and that's going to impact her? What do you guys think Cordelia is going to be like? What are your theories? I've heard that Cordelia is, like... She's, she's, like, really stubborn. But yeah, you, like, said, you Emma, like... think that she's going to be somewhat similar to Emma, right? I feel like she's, like, softer than Emma, though. Like, you can't mm. have that kind of, like, angry, furious, chaotic badass yeah, energy Yeah, I don't think Emma she's has. gonna be as angry as Emma, but I think she, like, that's kind of where Emma gets some of her, like, yeah. spunk from. Oh, yeah. Definitely. I think she might have, like, kind of that same balance that Christina has, where she has, like, the strength and the badass. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. She's, she's more, more like soft Christina. in a way. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I'm interested by this whole Alistair has a kid thing, though. Yeah. Because he doesn't seem to be marrying anyone. Is it, do you think yeah. it's that... She didn't add that in yet? Or does he just, like, have... Because there has to be a... Like, does the mother potentially but the kid die wouldn't... in childbirth? 
I wonder if it's going to be Barbara or Eugenia. Yeah, because like they said, people think Eugenia might be pregnant, but do we know that it's from Charles? We don't or from Alistair. It could be from Alistair. But I couldn't see Barbara or Eugenia giving up their child. I'm interested about the whole Christopher and Grace thing getting together. Yeah. Because we've talked yeah. a lot about... Like, Which also, she's Cartwright now. Like, she doesn't stay Blackthorn. So she has to have some kind of falling off. Maybe it's like what you said, she kind of foregoes her relationship with Tatiana and that's yeah. how she ends up becoming maybe like a better person mm -hmm. in a way. Yeah. Which maybe like Lucy and James find a way to bring Jesse back that's not killing the people, but Tatiana like doesn't care. And so Grace oh. is like, oh, I'll come with you to help you yeah. guys because Tatiana's crazy and still wants to kill people. Right. Yeah. I just really, really want to see Will summoning Jem for no reason at all. Yes. <laughs> That's what I want to see. What do you guys think is going to be the main evil? Like, you know how all the other series have their villains. Yeah. What do you think is going to be the villain in The Last Hours? I feel like it's someone we don't know yet. That do we know be... if any characters are going to die in Chain of Gold? People think... Okay, people thought that, like, Thomas was gonna die, or Christopher. Um, I remember that, but evidently Christopher can't die. Exactly. Gabriel dies two years after Christopher, his son. But here, okay, here's my thing. If she like has all two. these dates written out, she can't. Can't she kill any main characters in Chain well, of Gold? that's true, unless... Because one of the characters who's not on here is Matthew. And Charles, so that puts them at risk. Because but yeah, where I does thought, the I Fairchild's always like line come from? The Fairchild line has to come from somewhere. Yeah, but one like, of them one can of die. them has to. Yeah. One of them can die. That's true. I feel like, I feel like of them, it'll be Matthew. It'll be Matthew, because we don't care about Charles enough. And I also... Matthew so much. <laughs> but also, the thing is, in The Infernal Devices, it was such a happy moment when mm -hmm. they were pregnant, and like they told, they loved each other, like, and it was like, a real thing. Do you guys think part of James' change might be the death of Matthew? He won't die that early, though. Maybe. Because, like, Magnus had to drag him out of that bar, but if he, if Matthew had been around, I feel like Matthew would have dragged James out of the bar. He, so. Matthew's not dead because when they take Tess, they take him back to Tessa and Will, like, she mentions something about his parabatai. Oh. And oh, it's not, like, yeah. in a sad way. Oh, yeah. Okay, okay, because... I'm pretty sure. Do you have the Bane Chronicles here? I guess. Have it. Well, yeah. it. Because... Can check. I it almost it. feel... Because it... I vaguely remember people theorizing about a main character dying in Chain of Gold. Because I remember people theorizing like about a main character who dies in Chain of Gold. I feel like that would be a very Cassandra Clare thing to do. But I feel like Cassandra Clare also doesn't like kill off characters that she like, that like. But she also doesn't kill really off characters like. for no reason. She really doesn't. And then sometimes she doesn't kill off characters at all. Which is interesting. Like I've like I've given you the whole rant that I have on yeah. like her killing Livy and like how it like furthered the plot without actually having to kill them without actually having to kill a character, which I was like, Yes! You don't always have to kill people, Jesus. Here, yeah. At parties, Jamie could most often be found curled up in a corner with his Latin or laughing at a private joke with his parabatai. He always um, kept Matthew out of trouble as well as himself. He was the only one He was the only one who could make that indolent boy attend to his studies. Oof. But then, but then she said with a slight him. smile that betokened she was fond of her son's parabatai no matter what his faults. Oh, it's like, was, now he is. Okay, so he's doing the most disgraceful things and he will not listen to reason. But does that mean that Matthew's dead? But, like, do you guys really think, I don't know, I know Herondales are angsty, but how in love with Grace would James have to be to completely change his entire exactly. personality? Exactly. Something happened. Something happened to him, and I don't think it has entirely to do with Grace. It can't be entirely because she talks about Will, Matthew in the past tense. Because even with Will, and yeah. like his angst stuff, a lot of it was from Tessa, but like it was also for more than Tessa. Yeah, it was from the weight of the curse and everything that had been brought on him. Like they're yeah. not so superficial that it's only due to like one person because it's not even yeah. like he and Grace were in a relationship. It was just the infatuation that James had with her. Like it wasn't yeah, like yeah, it wasn't really like. He wasn't, like, super, yeah. like, entirely in love with her. Right, so, like, do you really think that that enough would be enough to make him change his own, his whole personality? I feel like something happened to him. I don't think it's Matthew died. Yeah, it seems maybe, like Matthew's yeah, not Matthew as much in his life Or maybe Ma Or maybe to. when they find out about what Matthew did to Charlotte, he they could be facing some or consequences for his actions, mm -hmm. like, yeah. being sent away or something. But that makes more sense. I think that's what it is. That might make more sense, but can you really picture Charlotte and Henry sending their child away? I don't think it's their Charlotte. choice. 
because also Charlotte's the console. If she didn't, it, it's like it could be a choice of either her job or that. And oh. even if she lost her job, they the whole family would have to be sent away. That's fair. And like to have the first female console lose her job because mm -hmm. of, I don't know, like being lenient with her son because it's her son. That could be one of the things that happens. So now we're like something happens. We're getting something so gonna happen. With all of this. Well, so we're just thinking because logically all of the other characters, their like their lives are put out on the family tree, so she couldn't like just yeah kill one yeah. of them. But the only one who I can think of who's not on the tree is Matthew, right? Yeah. So the camera died. So we're back. I don't know where we left off. Yeah. Editing magic. But we took that time to do some research. Yes, we've done some more research and we found that the family tree is evidently very misleading. Cassie has stated that at least one of the marriages is fake yeah. and a political sham. So now mm. we're having some thoughts about that situation because we're not sure what to make of... Who yeah. is the political sham? Do you think that it's Cordelia and James? I don't think that Will and Tessa would have their son like. But marry maybe he just for... did it because James is acting yeah. really weird after That's the whole true. Grace thing happened. So James might not have talked to Will and Tessa before doing it. Maybe he's maybe the reason he's so depressed is that like he has to marry Cordelia instead of. Because we Grace. found that James and Cordelia have to. They end up getting married during the course of the last hours. Yeah. And that's also a relatively young marriage. And, like, I know people got married pretty young there. But when you think about it, like, Charles is currently looking for his bride. And he's, yeah. like, and he's older than them. Yeah. So I'm sure that these parents aren't, like, forcing their kids to get married young. We know these parents. And, like, we know that they're well-meaning when it comes to these kids. Like, yeah. the Chain of Gold kids are very unique because all of the other, like, main characters we've read about come from very fractured pasts, mm -hmm. but these ones come from loving families. So for exactly. them to be in these situations, there has to be some reason. Exactly. Because right. it has nothing to do with their families. Yeah. Yeah, so we have right? to, like, so there has to be some kind of outside influence right. for all of this. Exactly. And another thing I was thinking about was why Tatiana adopted Grace. Mm -hmm. Because Jesse, I mean, was a lot older than Grace because he's still 16 now, but he was 16 when he died, and he's just kind of yeah. Stayed 16 because he dead. Um, yeah. But <laughs> dead reasons. If Tatiana is so hell bent on resurrecting her son, I don't understand why she would adopt someone new unless she was like looking for a lackey or someone to be like her assistant in the resurrection yeah. process. And there was another theory that I thought was really interesting, which was that Tati. And this is all stuff we read online, so like, yeah. please don't credit us for being smart yeah. enough to come up with this because we're not. <laughs> um, but this theory said that. Tatiana went to Malcolm Fade for help oh, yeah. resurrecting Grace. And while none of us think that Malcolm actually helped in the resurrection process, we did think that that might be where Malcolm got the idea to resurrect Annabelle from. Yeah, yeah so she sparked it. Exactly. Because yeah. we know it. We know he got the idea somewhere around this time. Yeah. yeah. And then also, um, something that we found online that Cassandra Clare said is that some of the death dates aren't actually death dates. They're dates that they became mundanes. Yeah, which is concerning. Because <laughs> also, some of these people, like, they die pretty young. Um... But at the same time, like, young as in, like, 40s and 50s. So, like, why, why would, would you they... become a Monday? Yeah. Especially because a lot of these people are tied to shadow hunters. Exactly. And yeah. they'd be old enough to have kids by then. Like, we know that the reason Will's father became a Monday was to marry his mother. But that doesn't exactly. seem to be... And he did that when he was young. These situations. Yeah. It also is true that shadow hunters sometimes die young in battle. Exactly. Because yeah. they're fighting a lot. I'm really trying to figure out what's fake. Like, what's exactly. a fake, which is the fake marriage? Because also that's the thing is that, like, I remember seeing a tweet from Cassandra Clare saying, like, I wouldn't include arranged marriages. But yeah. evidently, pe I, like, I found multiple people so. saying that she has confirmed that at least one of these marriages is fake. I'm pretty sure Cordelia and James. I like, think it's either which, Cordelia and James or Because she said it was Jessie. complex, right? Yeah. Because I can't see it being... I don't see any reason for it being Christopher and Grace the way I could see it being for Lucy and Jesse. Because, like, Lucy and Jesse, like, with the whole Jesse being supposedly dead yeah. thing, there could be, like, a lot, a lot to think about there. Yeah. And then with... Um, James and Cordelia, especially because of, evidently they get married during the duration of the last hours, yeah. it might make sense that, like, there was a different motivation for them being married. Also, apparently, Cassandra Clare has confirmed that there will be a gay relationship. I'm not sure if this is in addition to Anna Lightwood's character or if this was before yeah. Anna was revealed to be a genderqueer lesbian, but a lot of people think that the gay character is one of the Fairchilds. Which it could be Anna. Thomas. Oh, it could be Thomas because people are theorizing about him and Alistair. Yeah. People are theorizing about him and Alistair. But, like, 
I don't feel like Thomas and Alistair would end up... And maybe that's no. why Alistair only has his kid by himself. Because maybe he's like, I'm not going to pretend to be straight. And he takes mm-hmm. the kid and leaves. Maybe. Or Cassandra Clare didn't know who Alistair was marrying also, yet. I don't think <laughs> this is also true. Yeah. Well, also, <laughs> We're giving like, her a lot of credit with this family tree. I know. Here. Which she, she is a master like, writer, but... But I feel like she had to have some plan. Matthew was like the obvious choice for a character who would be queer. But... May, will he not be because he's the obvious choice? But like now we also are kind of concerned that Matthew's gonna die, so there's also that. Oh yeah, we're all concerned that Matthew's going to die. Cause I'm very the, concerned about that. He's the that. only one whose death date is not listed. Yeah. So He and Charles, but like, Charles isn't important enough to us that Yeah, like, we don't care about yeah, Charles and not kill him. <laughs> that we care. We know that one of them has to live because the of fair child. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Some people are theorizing that Charles might be gay because then it's like a story of like, a gay person like in the 1900s wanting to be a consul and it kind of then parallels like Charlotte being the first yeah. female consul which it would so be really that same. interesting because if he's play- supposed to marry Ariadne and she's also yeah. gay but then mm-hmm. that would put a that would that wouldn't help the whole theory that Charles and Eugenia were together yeah but mm-hmm. I don't know I don't know if that's just a theory someone came up with or but, if it's, I think it's yeah. a theory someone came up with but if we're assuming that one of the Fairchilds is gay that either means that the gay one dies or they can't both be gay because then they the Fairchild no. line has to continue or they could be gay and still marry someone of the other that's true. Yeah, like they could they could be gay but then they could marry someone of the yeah. other gender. but then didn't she say it was like a gay relationship? They could be in a relationship. Well, what if, like, pot- potentially, Charles is gay and he's in a relationship with someone, oh, and Ariane yeah. is with oh, Anna, yeah, and then yeah, they yeah. get married anyway. Oh, right? yeah, yeah, so, like, marriage of convenience. With Charles, I think he's probably the one who went out to find, like, a marriage himself. Mm. It's not like Henry right. and Charlotte were right, like, that's not Charles, Charles you gotta get are. married. Right, that's and not so, the type of And, like, when he showed Charlotte up and goes to a shadow market, it seemed like an arranged type marriage, but I feel like Charles went to the parents yeah. and was like, can I marry your daughter? Yeah, they he would. Really Charles and Henry exactly. wouldn't make. Yeah. Ch- Why are the oldest sons look such assholes? Like Charles and yeah. Alistair, no one likes them. Yeah, exactly. Do you think downworlders? Downworlders have to be involved in the story somehow. Yeah, Magnus should show up. But the name chain of the name chain of thorns kind of makes me fairies mm. or black, black thorns. thorns. Black thorn. But chain of iron, iron fairies. And like she started exploring fairies more with TDA. Like we already know a lot about vampires and werewolves and warlocks. Yeah. Yeah. But the fairy kingdom is the one that's like separate. Lots what is Chain of Gold gonna be? We don't know. This video helped absolutely no one. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> There's too much to unpack. No, let's just go like really quick and say what our final theories are. I believe that the fake marriage is Lucy and Jesse. I think that Matthew is going to die. And I think oh, that Charles Matthew. is gay. Those are my theories. I don't know. I think Matthew's gonna die. Also, I don't want him to, but I think he probably will. Or he'll at least be bit. Oh my God, he might not die. He might just be made into a mundane <laughs> because of what he did to Charlotte. Once it comes that out, that makes me feel even worse. Oh, no. That makes more sense because then also in in Bane Chronicles, when Tessa refers to him in the past tense because he's okay. separated from James, but it didn't seem with the sadness because if Tessa, if Magnus noted in his mind that like Tessa seemed fond of James's parabatai, which she would have said it with okay. sadness if he was dead. So yeah. actually, I think he's going to become mundane. My theory is like completely out there. I just, I think she's going to do something with the fairies. I okay. Think there's down, there's going to be downward stuff somewhere. Matthew's <laughs> my second favorite character after Anna, so like I don't want him to die, but yeah. I just... Yeah. I have a feeling. But also, Matthew is the only one who has a dog, and like no one else has dogs, and we know Cassandra Clare hates dogs, so does that say something? <laughs> oh no! <laughs> anyway, on that note, yeah. that's where we end this video. Thank you all for watching this disaster. Like, yeah, this thanks is for the, listening to our crazy theory. This is the most disastrous video we filmed today. Um, but thank you for watching it. We hope you've yeah. been enjoying this chain of gold month long thing. So, the first two episodes, I'll link somewhere you guys can watch that next week i'll be reviewing the book they won't be here so say goodbye to them i will link each of their respective instagrams in the description below so follow those and my camera's about to die which is why i'm talking really fast right now so with that that's all for this video thank you all so much for watching i hope you enjoyed this video if you did please give it a like and subscribe because that stuff makes me happy follow their instagrams follow my social media and comment down below and let us know if you agree or disagree with our theories and let us know some of chain of gold theories you have on your own i'll see you guys next week for my chain of gold review that's it bye bye